When the Future Economy was formed in 2017, a key piece of work it embarked on was the Industry Transformation Maps, or ITMs. The ITMs rep represent a more mission-focused and industry-driven approach to tripartism, where our government agencies collaborated with business and trade associations and chambers, or TACs, while our unions work with companies to support workers' reskilling and enterprise upgrading. Through the ITM process, stakeholders across each industry built trust, identified synergies, and shared resources and experiences. This shared ownership of transformation is critical in today's world of accelerated changes and shifts, as it affords greater agility in our responses. Government plans and programs will remain important, but when enterprises and workers embrace transformation, they can be at the forefront of seizing opportunities. Most importantly, we should be proud that our workers are taking ownership of their lifelong journeys and development. To capture new opportunities, we must be at the forefront of understanding, discovering, and translating science and technology to advance existing economic sectors while building capabilities for new economic drivers of the future. To achieve this, the government must work closely with our RIE stakeholders, researchers, institutes of higher learning, startups, local companies, and multinational enterprises to co-fund and grow the ecosystem. This requires proactive shaping and patient investment. Given our inherent small size, we need to develop our local researchers and nurture our enterprises and startups, while also attracting leading global companies and top research and entrepreneurial talent to form a strong ecosystem. Even as we continue to attract the right companies and stakeholders to grow our ecosystem, we can do more to deepen the innovation capacity of our students, researchers, and enterprises. We want to foster a generation of entrepreneurial youth, and there are opportunities such as the NUS Overseas College and the NTU, NTU Overseas Entrepreneurship Program to provide exposure to students, to our students. We're also supporting our enterprises, especially SMEs, to engage and participate in R&D innovation and capability development activities. Our SMEs need not worry about the lack of scale as they can tap on the research expertise and resources of our polytechnics to support them in their innovation journeys. Even as the rhetoric and cooperation slows, businesses and countries know that Singapore continues to be a constructive and neutral location for business innovation and talent. Domestically, it's about fostering co-ownership and leadership through the industry transformation maps and our ongoing transformation efforts so that our industries, companies and workers are empowered and confident as they ride through new waves of change. It is about deepening linkages across our innovation ecosystem and connecting with other ecosystems and stakeholders so that we can harness science and technology to find solutions to global challenges and unlock economic value. And beyond that, it is about leveraging our trusted reputation and extensive networks to encourage like-minded partners to grow in Singapore, through Singapore, and with Singapore.